Welcome back to Razmosar TV. Today I tried to uh, use my resistance bands and these resistance bands I used them and did uh, 30 minutes continuously kickboxing, kyukushin, muay thai with some wing chun combinations uh, with uh, resistance bands for the legs and the arms as you saw. Um, in the middle of these 30 minutes, I think, oh, maybe 10 minutes into it, I don't know, uh, due to my kick to the railing, my cell phone fell down. So I just went to see if the um, if it was still working because it was sad to give me signals after 30 minutes. <laughs> it has a small crack on it, uh, but. Uh, uh, it, it worked, so I said it, so and then I continued. And I think it was uh, after 15 minutes where I felt like as if uh, it was, no, it was, excuse me, after 25 minutes I felt that time should have been over, but my brain was not functioning very well. And when I went back to my uh, uh, cell phone, I saw that four minutes and 50 seconds something like that still remained so i continued and after my cell phone started to buzz to ring i continued for like i don't know for some time to compensate for the lost time so my apologies for these two things which happened during these experiments as i thought um Using uh, resistance bands uh, for endurance training, especially when you do not static training like in a fitness club, but I mean real martial art like boxing, kicking, or katas. If you do not have break in between, it uh, really um, I mean, it gets heavier and heavier, especially after the minute tw 20. Uh, every punch, every kick, I felt it. I have to say that although I train like two hours, three hours a day, katas, combinations, because I do with break, small break in between, my body regenerates and then I can do again. Today was a very good experiment and I always say it's good to uh, test your limits when you do a sport or any brain activity because only this way we can improve. Thank you very much.
Thank you.